Hi, Guido Fox uh, here. Welcome by a new spiritual book report. Uh, today I want to talk with you about this book from Uspensky. I hope I uh, spell it correct. I say it in correct uh, terms and, uh, and words. Uspensky and uh, his teacher was Gurdjieff. So there are a lot of dialogues uh, in this book. And it is a classic book. It is a very fancy title. Uh, in Search of the Miraculous. Miraculous. Uh, miracles. Uh, searching for Miracles. Uh, it's always good for uh, commercial uh, perspectives, right? To call your book like this. Everyone wants to have miracles in, uh, in him or her life. Um, so that's also where this book is, uh, is about. Um, but I want to go a little bit deeper, deeper in this book and filter out uh, the most important uh, knowledge here in this book. And uh, first of all, uh, it's interesting that uh, Uspensky um, also did the same path as uh, Jesus from Nazareth. And it was a uh, tour through Egypt and India. Um, to the higher es esoterical schools, so the more schools about spiritual transformation and be more in aligned and connected with yourself. So spiritual schools, uh, that's very interesting, the same path as Jesus and Uspensky also there, he was alone, alone is the path, and he, then you become an individual, so there you see some similarities in the life of Jesus and Uspensky. Page. 17 the struggle of uh, magic chance uh, the struggle of people who are uh, doing uh, spiritual work or meditation it's really struggle why it's a struggle it's an inner struggle an inner sword i told you you already in the previous video uh, it's inner work it is confrontating with yourself it's mirroring yourself uh, but it's also struggle to have uh, still some connection with society and also connection with people who are even smart as you and also intelligent enough to go into spirituality. I talk with you about that two videos ago. I think about how more intelligence, how more, uh, how more reason uh, to find uh, answers on life questions and how more you go into uh, life coaching, personal development and spiritual growth. So high intelligence is high spiritual and high spiritual is high sexual and then the circle is round and round. So genius is mostly you, know, you going into, um, into spirituality. So genius and spirituality is heavily coupled uh, to each other. Um, so that's a struggle, the struggle to how to be connected with other people if other people are not doing two hours meditation per day uh, and are not um, going into deeper in spirituality and opening up and spiritual awakening. Um, that is interesting, right? So how to deal? Huh? That's uh, not easy, right? If you are so intelligent and in, in personal development and going on and going on, how to relate with people. That become more difficult. And also in group dynamics, if you are in a crowdy group with crowd people, normal people who are not so sexual and spiritual evolved as you are, um, how to deal with that? Because they have probably in 180, 190, 200 conscious level and you are probably already in 700, 600, 800 conscious level. So how you deal with that energy uh, difference. And that's hard. That's difficult. Very difficult to go lower in your intelligence to normal people. To go normal, uh, to go normal levels of energy. So if you're going into meditation, your vibration, your calibration, vibration of energies will be much more stronger, much more higher than the rest and the crowd. How you deal with that, how you can still relate it with the crowd, with the normal people who are not into spirituality and, and just walking here around on earth with no purpose and no goal. One solution is loading up points. I mean, your quiet, silent meditation room is your loading up point. 
Other thing is that you have short interactions. So it can be short, five minutes, 10 minutes, one hour talk and move out. That's inward, outward journey, right? So that's interesting huh? from how you do with people who are not into this. Um, short interactions with many people. So you bring the fire on by those people. So you tick the fire on, tick the fire on and you go away. And then you stay high energized. So that's the inward and outward journey in a short, short, short dynamic. So that's how you can uh, load up your battery. And that's how you can survive in society. And that's what Socrates, uh, Jesus, or Sho, uh, Buddha also was doing. Eh? They walk around in cities, uh, but I, they are never stuck for a long time time in, in small social circles so then uh, you avoiding energy leakage uh, but you're also uh, avoiding um, that you have to go down to ego mechanisms so uh, more smaller the group dynamics you get also some fights about hierarchy who's the most important uh, the fight for girls in uh, small social circles or the fight for boys and girls become jealous on each other so you want to avoid that small social circle dynamics at low social calibration um, dynamics and levels you want to avoid that you want to step out of that and you want to be flowing and moving through society without any confrontation with uh, with ego uh, with ego dynamics that just makes you lowering and that costs your uh, energy leakage so that's how you can stay high uh, spiritual vibration into in the uh, in the society where the average conscious level is around 200 180 on a scale of thousand connectedness yeah, that's how you connect with people but also connect with yourself um, and that's the absence of you unity so people are um, are dissolution, they are dissol dissolved, they are dissolution with themselves, they are not aware of themselves, they're feeling split personality, I talk with you a lot of that issues, and what you see, people don't feel whole, don't feel fulfilled, um, and searching for connectedness, and that is also what Uspinsi was searching for, to be more connected with himself, and Everyone is talking about that. I want to be more connected with myself. I want to be more connected with myself. I want to know who I am. I feel lost. Lost of identity. How to do that? Meditate, meditate, meditate. And you find the seven centers. You are opening up. That's connectedness. That's oneness. That's non-duality. Everything is over there. So that's the... Man number seven, page 73. That is gorgeous. Man number seven and Uspensi is also uh, listen to that advice, right? Man number seven. You have to become man number seven. Man number seven is superior. Man number seven is superior. Man number seven is drunk. Drunk of the divine. Everything become a consciousness dream in your life. Everything become at ease. Everything become effortless. Everything become chill and relaxed. You feel drunk. You feel drunk of the fine. Everything is beautiful in your surrounding. You don't need drugs. No way. No drugs is needed anymore. The divine, the opening up of the seven centers. It's 10 times more than LSD or what kind of drugs you take. Much and much more. Drugs is just simple, temporarily. Meditation is long time duration and stable. Stable happiness, stable inner ecstaticness. Much more better than LSD. Come on, guys. LSD is nothing. Alcohol is nothing, drugs is nothing, everything is nothing, especially that one, that one connectedness with yourself, that deeper, deeper feeling in yourself is everything. And you can conquer the world with it. You are so much confidence, you're feeling king, you're feeling prince, you're feeling queen.
queen, you're feeling princess. Right? Carriage of your body, you're the horse driver master of your own body, right? You become a horse, you become a horse driver. Eh? So you have your body, at first you were out of control. First you had no connection with your body. What's going on there? What your body is needing? Where your body asking for rest or eat or whatever. Now you can feel more. You are much more sensitive. So your body is now ownership. You own your body. You own your body. First you were lost because your mind were taking the decisions. You are rational, struggling, over chattering mind. You were choosing what your body has to do. It's false, false. You have to go to higher mind, higher mind. That's your decision you can make. Then you're more in control. First you were out of control. You were stressed, you were lost, you were unconsciousness. You were in a tunnel vision. Everything in your surrounding was away. Was lost. Now you become more aware of what's going on in your surrounding. What's going on in my 100 meters surrounding? I'm more aware, more aware. I can feel my body. I know what my body wants and not wants. I listen to my nature. My body is my nature. We lost the contact with our body. Too much. Too much we learned that mind was everything in the Western world. But your body is saying much more. Your body say most. Your body reacts on what is good and what is not good for you. That's only possible if you're crystallized. Crystallized is also a very beautiful word in spirituality. Crystallized. You are a full blooming flower. You are a crystallized diamond. It starts with the opening of the hydrada. Then become more and more and more and more and more. And the red wine. The change from normal water into red wine of the story of the parable of Jesus. It's nothing more than a change of your spiritual stream in your body. It's the ecstatic opening of the Amrita Nadi line in your body, the seven centers in your body, the connectedness with your seven most important chakras in your body. That is the red wine. It takes years or years of meditation. You don't do that in five minutes, in one hour or whatever. No, no, no. No, there is no shortcut. There is no shortcut in spirituality. In normal life, yes. In normal life, you can have a shortcut. The question is, of course, is it stability? Is it long-term stability if you, say, if you take a shortcut? No, also not. Grow is long-term investment. Long-term investment is long-term results. People want quick, one session by a coach, and I will change. No, no, no. 10, 20, 30, 40, more and more. There are no shortcuts in life. Years of years of work is needed to read something. We only see the top of the iceberg of success, of successful people, we don't see what's under that line, under the water, what's going on under, what kind of effort there is needed to become enlightened, to opening up yourself, to be more awake. So much effort is needed for that, so much arduous effort. People don't see it. People have no eyes. They only say, see the top of the iceberg. 
For everything you have to work hard, for everything what you want to reach in life. Hard work pays off, always the truth. Some life coach advice, advice. Some life coach advice here, right? Working hard. Be a master of your life. Be a horse driver of your own horse. And drop your baggage. Drop your negative, toxic baggage out of your life. Dump your toxic people in your surroundings. Don't put energy in something what don't deliver energy back. Drop the burdens. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> drop the burdens and you feel light. Light of step. Light of walk. Drop the burden. And you will go to heaven. You are so light that you go to heaven. That you feel heaven in your body. Jesus, kingdom of heaven is within you. He was talking about the three hearts on the row. And the palm chakras and the crown and the third eye chakra. Be light of step or show. More and more connectedness with yourself is more and more crystallization. Crystallization in your body. The growing tree, the magic growing tree. That is the miracle. That's the miracle of life. That's where you're searching for. That's where your soul is searching for. And your soul wants it. All those problems in your life as one goal, to make you more awake. All those pain, all those obstacles have one and one meaning. It's becoming more awake, more consciousness, more alert. More alert. That's the struggle. That is the struggle. And you become in higher dimensions, the fourth dimension. Higher dimension, higher spiritual levels like a dream. There shall be no time anymore. Jesus, the time will quick and quick. And the place where you are, you can't remember anymore. I don't remember where I was. The last week, the last days, even last hours, I don't know. There shall be no time and no place anymore you are flowing river a flowing river through society and you are never stuck there's no chance anymore that people can drag you down you stay high very high thank you for watching and i see you by the next book report hi hi